Hey guys, Jason here. Um, so guess what I'm doing today? Oh, there's my 11 blade hub. Look out there. The PMA is missing. Today, I am finally going to do the, uh, the, you know, convert my 12 volt PMA to, um, uh, or 12 volt DC PMA to an AC PMA. Now, uh, this is what I got so far. Um, as you can see here, when you pull the, uh, when you pull this top cover off, um, you want to make sure you leave this against the back piece. You don't want to pull the stator core out of there because inside of here there's a little 70 amp rectifier um, and you'll pull the <laughs> you pull the connectors right off of your stator core or core here. So don't want to do that. Um, let's see another thing I had a little trouble with there's this bearing here in the center. It fits really darn tight to this shaft. And so what I did was I screwed the nut on so it was flush and I just gave it a few uh, taps with the hammer um, and slowly worked it up. But in doing that you can see a couple of my magnets in here slid up uh, also, so that sucks. Now I gotta figure out how to tap those down without messing up anything. See, they're all supposed to be sitting flush like these guys. And so I gotta figure out how to tap those down without messing up my uh, the spacing between uh, this piece in here with all the magnets on them. As you can see, this is a 7 magnet PMA. Um, anyway, so, uh, Jeff's video made this look pretty easy, but so far it's not been <laughs> that easy. <laughs> yeah, not as easy as his video looked anyway. So that's the way it is, right? <laughs> Nothing works easy for me. Anyway, so I got my, uh, my insulating varnish for PMAs. So just in case, when I'm working with this, I scratch any of the uh, exposed wire here on the uh, stator core, or core here. All I have to do is spray it down with this stuff and it should be good as new. At least that's the plan. Anyway, so now what I got over here is well, I can't work in my shop right now. It's all packed full of shit. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna put this in my vise. I screwed my vise to a like a nine foot long railroad tie so hopefully that's strong enough um or you know heavy duty enough to hold down oh yeah check out my banana trees not supposed to have banana trees in washington state but um or at least they're not supposed to do very well here but mine are doing okay for right now anyway i got sidetracked so that's what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to try to pull the uh the magnetic uh part out of the stator core and then uh, I'll get you a video of that. Okay.